Hello dear viewers, thank you for joining me. It's Tarot Mom from Readings by the Empress, Becca. And I'd like to talk to you today about some things that I've been hearing from my guides about self-love. You know, the manifestation kinds of prayers and visualizations, that's all good. And belief in this, and that is very good. That is very good. However, however, I keep getting that that can get frustrating for people because you don't know the timing. And I also keep getting that there's something more foundational. Because why do we want these changes? Why do we want things? Why do we want things to shift in our reality regarding the people around us sometimes, regarding our work? It's because we want joy. We want peace. What brings peace and joy? Self-love brings peace and joy. Being filled up with a love that is our, our divinity. That's what brings peace and joy. So what I'm hearing a lot from them is pray for self-love. Pray for self-love. And the rest will take care of itself. Because you could have um, all your bills paid and, and extra in the bank. You could have wonderful health. You could have wonderful relationships. And still, if you did not love yourself, you're not willing to receive and accept it, um, that's not going to help you. You're not going to have peace and joy. The thing is, what looking at the manifestation, ideas about manifestation, and there really is something to that, I believe, the manifestation um, teachings. Looking at that, you have to wonder why you don't have these things. And what my guide has told me is that very frequently we do not have the things we wish to manifest because we are incapable of receiving them. Because we are not yet capable of believing we deserve them. We are not yet able to um, have that trust in our divinity. So one of the very best prayers is and meditation, focus of meditation is self-love. Grant me self-love. Grant me self-love. Because when you say that and you mean it, if it's hard to say that, why? Why is it hard to say? Maybe something to journal on. Maybe something to meditate on. There might be, some, there might be something you are not forgiving yourself for. There might be some self-criticisms that you keep because you feel like they keep you safe. You know, you keep that self-criticism. You keep that um, harsh kind of attitude toward yourself about this behavior or that behavior or this thing that happened in the past or that thing that you're worried about happening in the future. You might talk to yourself in a rather harsh way because you think it makes you feel safe. That can be in the way. So if we pray for self-love and we're willing to receive it, we will find there are things to let go of. There are things to forgive ourselves for. There are things to accept about us. You know, none of us are perfect. We're not supposed to be. You know, we came here to have this human experience. That means lots of imperfection. The powerlessness, you know, feeling powerless, feeling like we can't trust our own divinity or the divinity, the larger divinity um, that could get in the way of this. But whatever does get in the way will come up if you focus on self-love and you meditate on receiving self-love. And you can try to keep your focus on, um, you know, warm, warm light coming into your heart, whatever, whatever works for you. But to meditate on that will help you to let go of a lot of the blocks that are there. Because the blocks, you'll find them coming up. A thought will come into your meditation. And can you forgive yourself for that? Sure. Can you um, accept this part of yourself? Um, can you ask Source to work on this or that or the other thing? Um, 
and not keep med you know really truly surrender those things and really keep receiving the self love that's the kind of i feel like that's a kind of process it doesn't have to go on and on you could journal it if you didn't want to meditate it it doesn't matter or you could just simply think it through you know reflect upon it what do you need to let go of why is it hard what is getting in the way of you accepting what you would like to manifest? Because there's something and some things. There, there is. So what the good news is, we can completely surrender them. We can make a decision. We can say, I am willing to let go of this belief. And we cannot call upon the divine to make it happen, to give us the strength to let it go. We're just letting it go and, and keep it give it to the divine to keep that kind of thing and I believe that when we focus first on the self-love <laughs> one of the barriers might be oh it sounds so self-focused to talk about self-love it is not self-focused you know it is yes it's it's self-focused but it's all for good because the more we love ourselves the more we can love everybody else the more we love ourselves the clearer we are mentally and the more we can contribute to the world so yeah so that might be the first thing you end up letting go of who cares what anybody might think about me praying for self-love um that inner critic that's nonsense nonsense but you know as you pray for self-love as you receive it from the universe and you don't even need to know who you're receiving it from you know, I kind of think that it's better if you're, I was very agnostic when I had um, my a real spiritual awakening in my early 20s, very agnostic about it. And that was almost better, I think. So it's it's really okay. It's really okay to, to appeal. And maybe we're appealing to the divinity within ourselves. but start with the self-love and increase your ability to do that. And then a lot of the blocks to the things you're asking to manifest will automatically shift and move. It may be that you stop caring about manifesting this or that because if you're full of self-love, well, hey, you know, you're full of joy. You have joy, you have peace. You're, you're, you're at a level that, that where you want it to be, right? So maybe as you get practiced at receiving self-love, you don't care so much about the things that you wanted to manifest. Or maybe you get to just be fun about playing the game of life and saying, yeah, sure. I want that. I'm asking for it. It's coming. You know, it, the blocks to those things, though, um, I think they're removed when when our self-love is much closer to where it should be. So I just thought I'd share that insight with you all. Thank you all, and I wish you all self-love. Bye-bye.